Hello there children, how are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week! lesson in math and I know that you are all excited. Am I right? I know you are. Now let's get started. Last time do you still remember that we had learned about set? What is a set? Correct. Set is also called group and we also had defined elements. We said that elements are the objects or the things that are inside the group. That also determines the name of the set. There are different ways on how we could compare them. But today, we will learn about greater than, less than, and equal. Hmm, teacher Ira, how would I know what symbol am I going to use? Always remember that this is the symbol for greater than, and this is the symbol for less than, this is the symbol for equal. When we say greater than, it means that the first set has more elements or objects compared to the second set. When you say less than, the first set has less number of objects or fewer number of objects compared to the second set. When you say equal, meaning both sets got equal number or same number of elements or objects. Did you get it? Now I will give you another clue on how you would be able to identify or how you would be able to write the correct symbol. Let me introduce to you this one. Who is that? I know you know that one. That is... Hmm... Correct! That's Pac-Man! Pac-Man is a game character in one of the games that you are playing with. Who's playing this game? Hmm... What does Pac-Man do? Yes, Pac-Man would love to eat more, 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 more. Okay, that's why. For you to be able to write the symbol properly, you think about Pac-Man. Always remember that Pac-Man would love to eat more. And now, we will make use of his mouth. Of course, we will not draw the whole Pac-Man character, but just his mouth. Okay, now, with a symbol greater than, we will use the mouth of Pac-Man this way, and then less done would be this way, and equal would be this way. Okay, let us have an example. I have here two sets of balloons. On the first set, we have here one, two, three, four, five, six balloons. And on the other set, we got four balloons. Now, which set has more? Yes, the set with six. Now, what do you think will Pac-Man eat? The one with six or the one with with four. Remember, he loves more. You are correct. You are definitely correct. Look, Pac-Man will eat the set with more. That's why you have to open his mouth. You draw the symbol that has the mouth facing to the set with more. Are you getting it now? Okay, let me have another example. Okay, I have here a set of bags. Okay, the first set has four and the other set got six. Now, what do you think will Pac-Man eat? The one with four or with six? Of course, because I've told you that he loves more. You think about that. Okay, his mouth would be opened to the set with more. Now, when you have this one, you would say four is less than six. And the other one up here would say six is greater than four. That's how you understand the greater than and the less than. Now, let's have some more examples here. Okay, here. Whoa, we got two sets here of hot air balloons. The first set got eight and the second set got eight too. Now, we have the same number of elements here. So, hmm, when it comes to that point, Pac-Man will think, should I eat the one here on this side, this side, or on this side? And then suddenly his mouth would say, hmm, because he could not decide what to eat. Now look at the mouth of Pac-Man. So it's going to be equal. 
squall. His mouth would be like that because he could not decide as to what set is he going to eat. Hmm, you're getting it now, right? Okay, now, how about with this set of three and five? Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Of course, it's going to be three is less than five. Pac-Man will open his mouth on the set with more. Always remember that, kids, and you will never go wrong. Okay, now, let us have another one. Okay, eight and six. Hmm, greater than or less than or equal? Yes, of course, because Pac-Man will open his mouth there. So now that symbol is greater than. Eight is greater than six. Next, four and four. Hmm, his mouth will say, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, so that's going to be equal again. Very good. Now, are you getting it? Always remember that you will open that mouth to the set with more elements. And whenever it faces on that direction, that would be called greater than. When it is facing this direction, it would say less than. When it's like this, it's equal. Now, let us try. Can you tell me if it's going to be greater than, less than, or equal? You may have your own paper there or your whiteboard and a pen. And try to write your own answer. Remember the mouth of Batman, kids. Let us try. Number one, four and four. Mm, just like what we had a while ago. Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Yes, it's equal. Correct. You have a star for that, of course. Now, number two, greater than, less than, or equal, eight and six. Of course, you know that for sure. That's greater than another check for you kids and a star. Okay, number three. Eight and eight. That's equal. Check, check, check. And a star. Very good. Number four. Three and five. We had it in the example a while ago. Let me see if you can still remember. Yes, that's less than. Correct, correct, correct. And a star for you. Last number. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 8. 12 and 8. Greater than, less than, or equal? It's greater than. Very good. Check, check, and star. Wow. You did a great job if you were able to get five on that. Children, in comparing the sets with greater than, less than, and equal, what you need to do is observe the sets, count, and find out which has more and which has less. And in writing the symbol, you think about Pac-Man, you think about his mouth, and always see to it that his mouth is being opened to the set with more because he loves to eat more. And you will never go wrong. So one more time, let's name these symbols. You say greater than, less than, and equal. I hope that you had learned something today. God bless you now, kids. Bye. Thank you.